If you guys want to know all the food that is included in your Carnival Cruise ticket, keep watching this video. We just got on the ship and first things first, we got to try out Guy's Burgers. We love it. We've been waiting a whole year actually to eat it again. So They're we're really good. Yes, really good. delicious. We're craving it. They put the onion ring with barbecue sauce. And a burger, we got a pickle. Delicious. Not only do we love the burgers because they're cooked to perfection, but the fries. I don't know what kind of seasoning they have, but they're delicious. Okay, we are now at the Sea Day Brunch at the Blush Restaurant. A lot of people don't know and they go up to the 10th floor Lido deck and they eat the buffet there. But here is a sit down restaurant. They bring you your food. We actually ordered the Huevos Ranchero, so we're interested to see how good they taste. But they have French toast, Eggs Benedict. I'm gonna show you guys the full menu and you could order here instead of going to the buffet up on the 10th floor. I also ordered the huevos rancheros, oatmeal, essence, almonds, brown sugar, so let's try them on and I'll tell you how good they are. It's good. They have beans inside, chicken, pico de gallo, it's good. We are at the Palush restaurant and this place is nice. It's a sit down restaurant. You get to order off a menu, but be careful. There is a steakhouse menu that costs $20 extra. Everything else is included with your Carnival Cruise purchase. So be aware of that. There's a little square. It says, you know, $20, be advised. So if you order from that, you're going to pay $20. Anything else, free. Be advised, I am here on formal night, so there's just a dress code when you come for formal night. You cannot wear shorts, no tank tops, no flip flops. You cannot wear any swimwear, so you gotta be dressed to impress. The guy's usually a button up with slacks, and ladies are usually in a dress or a dress pants. So the first thing I ordered was a flat iron steak and I got it medium because I love my steaks medium and it was delicious. It came with two onion rings and I have this love love relationship with onion rings and I just love them. It came with a potato. I thought the potato was okay, nothing too crazy. It was, it was okay. And then the second thing I got was the chicken breast. And I actually thought I was gonna love the steak more than I did the chicken breast, but I'm gonna have to say the chicken breast was a little bit better. It just, the flavor was on point and the mashed potatoes were awesome. There are two different times when it comes to Carnival Cruise dinner. One is anytime dining, and that's 6.15 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. depending on what ship you're on. So on that one, it's better for beginners because you don't know what time shows are at, you don't know what time your port, you're coming back from the port or any of that. And then there's specific time dining. That's where we're at right now. We have an 8.15 p.m. dining. So it's either we eat here or we eat somewhere else, but we cannot come here for dinner if we don't show up at 8.15. If you guys have the cheers packet during your dinner time in the restaurant, you can have your drink, your alcohol drink allowed with your big bottle of water. If you don't finish your water bottle during your dinner time per person, you can take it to your room. You can also get food to order. So I am ordering two plates for a midnight snack. So I ordered them. They're coming out with them pretty soon. And I also got dessert to go. So you cannot beat that. So if we're gonna stay inside of the ship for at least the morning, I need to enjoy a delicious breakfast. And today I got my breakfast sandwich, waffles, comes with hush brown, and I also order avocado toast. For the vegans out there, I'm gonna let you know that they have a bunch of vegan meal inside of this ship. 
We are now on the 10th floor mid and there is a lot to eat here. This is the buffet area. Behind me you have the Mongolian Walk and that's just one of the restaurants they have here that's included in your meal ticket. So this is my first time trying the Mongolian Walk. It's not on all ships. So I wanted to try it. I didn't know I didn't even what to pick. So I just picked the salmon with bean sauce, which is not the spicy sauce. They have three kinds of sauces. The five barbecue sauce. And I don't remember the other one. I think it's the Mongolian sauce, something like that. But it has like two peppers and it was like the super hot sauce. I didn't want to try that one, but we'll see. It was a long wait to have it done. So let's see if, it's, if it was worth it. it. Smells good so far. It's really hot. Noodles with salmon, very good. If you have a sweet tooth, you got the sweet spot right behind me and they got all kinds of delicious looking cakes. You guys can see for yourself. If you're looking for a buffet, they have a line that's called Good Eats. And this is your typical buffet food. They have chicken, they have beef, they have pork. And before that, they actually have a salad bar. So it's a salad bar that leads right into the buffet. So now we are at the Good Eats Buffet. And I got a little bit of everything. So I got the salad, tomato, cucumbers, potato, sour cream, shrimp, uh, fried shrimp, salami, and green beans. We are now on the 10th floor next to the entrance of Cucina del Capitano. You have to go up the stairs and it's actually on the 11th floor. And if you want pasta, it's complimentary for lunch, but it's a limited pasta menu. We're about to have lunch at Cucina del Capitano. It's pasta from 12 to 2.30, free pasta. You can, take, you can eat your pasta here or take it a go. And at dinner time, it's a full menu, but it's $15 per adult and $5 to kids. I ordered half portion, which is a good portion, of penne pasta, alfredo sauce, shrimp, and broccoli. I ordered a meat lasagna. My portion is pretty big and it looks delicious. It is delicious. We are now in front of the Carnival Deli and here they have sandwiches, they have wraps, they have buffalo chicken, they have hot dogs and any of that good stuff right here. I have the beverages right behind me. They have water, they have ice. They do have small cups so usually people get two cups of water. They also have hot chocolate here. They have coffee, they have decaf and they also have caffeinated coffee but it is not the greatest coffee. Just giving you guys a little heads up. And they also have iced tea and lemonade. So if you guys are interested in any of that, you could come right here. I also want to include that if you have the Cheers package or the Unlimited Bubbles package, there is no soda here. So you have to go to a bar, grab your soda, and then come here to the buffet area. We are now at Pizza Pirate. It is 24 seven, so you can order even at 3 a.m. in the morning if you like. They have pepperoni, they have cheese, they have mushrooms, they have all kinds of pizzas to choose from, and it's delicious. At Pizza Pirate, they also have the Caesar salad by request. So it might take a little bit longer to get your Caesar salad, but it's really good. We're on the 10th floor Lido deck. We're at the breakfast grill, and this is your traditional buffet breakfast. They also have omelets, but I got some eggs, some potatoes, French toast. I have my pear, and I also have some strawberry yogurt. I got my strawberry yogurt as well. I got eggs Benedict some kind of beans that I wanted to try, oatmeal, and my bagel. And also there is an omelet line, we just didn't wait in it because it's a little bit long. Another spot that's included in your ticket in the 10th floor is the Blue Iwana Burritos. 
I ordered a shrimp burrito. It was really good with hot sauce, rice, and cheese. At the Pecan Anchor, I got the blue ribbon chicken, baked beans, and mac daddy mac and cheese. So at Pig and Anchor, which is open on sea days, which is today, I got the smoked beef and the old school potato salad. I'll let you guys know how it tastes in a second. I like it. Now I want to talk about the room service menu, what's included, and the different times it's open. Okay, so for the daytime dining, um, it's 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And these are all the items that are for free or on the house. You have the garden salad, Caesar salad, you have the tuna salad, roasted turkey, ham and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, grilled American cheese, grilled Reuben, and then you got a couple sweet tooth items. I wanted to point out that this one right here, this section is a little money goes a lot of yummy. And you could see the prices like for the awesome wings, it's $5 chicken tenders it's five dollars so these are all the items that cost some money you have the pan pizza right here and that is from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. now you have the late night dining so late night dining is not free it comes with an extra charge and that's from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I'm gonna show you guys this is the whole menu right here so you could just see right here the wings are also five dollars okay we got the Philly cheesesteak five bucks personal pan is also five bucks so this is pretty much it. You get sweet tooth, anything on the sweet tooth menu, $2, $3, and $4. This next tip is a disembarkation tip. If you want to avoid the crowd on the Lido Deck Buffet, you could come to one of the restaurants. Usually they're open for two hours. This one's open from 6 to 8 a.m. Uh, you know how there's two restaurants on the ship. One is usually closed down, the other one is open, and then you could order anything you want from the menu, and it's kind of nicer, it's empty here, so we kind of have the place to ourselves, so this is a lot better than beating the rush upstairs. <laughs> 